Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's beautiful. Isn't the Animal Expedition DSP just divine? I love it. It's so much fun. Um, and so I wanted to bring you a bag project today. It might be that you've got thank yous that you're going to be making to send out post Christmas. Obviously Christmas is just a few days away now. Um, you might be sending out thank yous. You might have, I don't know, you just want to say thank you to somebody or have it stockpiled ready. You don't even have to say a thank you on it. You could do anything you like. Maybe your children have got a road trip. <gasps> Long way to visit grandparents. My children, as of yesterday, have gone to visit um, uh, Chris's parents with him, um, you know, in the run up to Christmas. So they've got a long road trip, uh, three and a half hour car journey up to North Wales. And so, you know, maybe if your children have got a road trip, sweeties and treats and notebooks and things in the bag. But this one has got the birds and it's got the pink on it. So I'm doing a boy version with the frogs or a not pink version. Let's not stereotype here. So I've got the lovely frogs. They are so adorable, just so cute. Start with 12 by 12 paper, 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimetres. What have I done with my, oh, <laughs> I'm looking around for my scoreboard. I've just lifted it up and put it back down and lost it. <laughs> okay, so start with your pattern the right way up so that you know you're looking at the right, looking at it the right way around because we're gonna put these score lines in first. So start with your pattern the right way up and score it at, two inches, five and three quarters, seven and three quarters, and 11 and a half inches. And in metric, that is uh, five, 14 and a half, 19 and a half, and 29 centimeters. And then turn it to the right so that your pattern is this way round. Score it at two inches, five centimeters, turn it over, and score it at 10 inches, 25 and a half centimetres. And the finished dimensions of it, because I've handily written them down, um, eight inches tall, three and three quarters wide, and two inches that way. So that is 20 centimetres, nine and a half, five centimetres. Okay, so I'm gonna burnish all these score lines. And while I do that, I'm gonna chat to you because I promised you at the beginning of the week that I would explain what's happening this coming week. Now, as you know, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays every single week, um, unless I'm doing extras and I've got a special one and I do extra videos. So I never don't, I never not have a video. Does that make sense? I always have a video Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays regardless. This coming week, however, Christmas Eve is Monday and Boxing Day is Wednesday. Um, Boxing Day tends to kind of relate really to the UK um, more than any other country but it's a holiday date for us and so I've made the decision that this year I won't be having a video on Monday I will have activity on my blog I won't have a video for Monday um, and on Wednesday I have got a tip video planned for you. Then on Friday, kind of back to normal, and it will be similar, a little bit disjointed again the following week because New Year's Eve falls on the Monday and so on. So it will be very slightly different, but you will still have stuff on my blog every single day, except for Christmas Day. Never have a blog on Christmas Day. Okay, so you've seen me burnish and you've seen that, that bit that I that I scored the wrong way around has come over. So I'm going to tape that down first. Um, I'm just going to use snail. Along there. Stick myself to it. And I'm just going to quickly, with my fingers, reinforce that crease. Okay, so at the top, I'm going to mitre a little bit and get my other scissors and take away this skinny little rectangle down here and then cut straight up my score lines there. So this is a nice quick project that anybody can do. I believe anybody can do the projects I make. That's my belief and I'm sticking with it. I don't do complicated, I don't do challenging, I don't do, you know, you have to be expert crafter to be able to do these. I do, anybody can do it. 
So that's my feeling. Although probably having a scoring tool would help. Okay, so adhesive down there. Let's take the backing off. There's a cat in here somewhere. I can hear her and she's snoring. Um, I believe it's fennel. It is, I can see her. She's behind, she's taken herself behind my photo studio because that's where the radiator is. And um, I put, I, you know what, I have put a basket in there, I will confess. I've put a basket behind there, above the radiator, and she's in there snoring a little head off. Bless her heart. Okay. Take the backing off there. And that is pretty much it done. So push your fingers at the bottom of this panel here and it will naturally grip and fold and leave it a bit open. Now I do kind of, I like this look, but I'm gonna tighten, I'm gonna squish it down closed a little bit more. But first up, I'm gonna put my ribbon on. Now lemon lime twist and I aren't great friends. But this is how friendly we are. I haven't even opened this <laughs> ribbon. Um, but I like the ruffled trim. It's quite forgiving. So and I'm going to tie a knot in this one rather than a bow. close just a little bit more so you can I mean you can squish it fully closed and it will naturally open a little bit that's fine by me okay so stamp here now let me find a scrap of white here we go so I have got the darling label punch box we still have some of the Christmas punch box Christmas traditions it's called which comes with a stamp set and a punch I've taken mine off my shelf now because they've retired um, but you get the gorgeous tin. Let me just quickly grab the two tins. Or three tins because there's a new one coming. So this is the tin for this set and you get an ink for this and you get a block and obviously you get to keep the tin as well. And I can't get the lid off. Um, so that's for this set. And like I say, you get a, a, an ink spot as well. This is the Christmas Traditions one. It's currently slashed in price, I mean properly slashed in price. Um, and you've got, so there was a block in there, um, the punch would have gone in there, the stamp set in there, and you've got two ink spots there, real red and corny clover. And like I say, sl absolutely slashed in price. I think loads of people have been buying those. And then we have a new one coming. Ha ha, not telling you anymore. Not telling you anymore. <gasps> Um, but this is the new one that's coming. Can't wait. Love those tins. They sit on display in my office. Anyway, where were we? Um, thank you big time. That, I believe, came from Animal Expedition itself, actually. Animal Outing, sorry. So not this stamp set at all. Let me put that back. So, thank you big time. And... I'm going to get my, well, I don't know if I want to have, I'm going to go lemon lime twist, but I don't think it's going to be dark enough for me. Mm. And I went across the angle because I want it to come at an angle. Do you know what? That is okay. Because I punched that at an angle. And then what I need to do now is I need to work out which size circle, because I've got a circle back here. So you measure up the punched out bits. That's one and a half. So that means I need my one and three quarter inch circle. You can tell I didn't get this out, can't you? <laughs> one and three quarter inch circle in the lemon lime twist. I'm going to have 
couple of dimensionals on there. I do like it at that offset angle. And I'm looking for my frosted epoxy dots because they are sticking around. They're so popular. Everybody has loved them. There's my frosted ones. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go plain this time. Um, so popular, they're sticking around. That makes me happy. So, I have one there, and I'm going to have a mini one at the top. And then to finish it off, I'm looking for my ribbon, and I want a baker's top. There it is. That one. Because it's silver and white. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to go that one. And not very many loops, but a few of those loop together. And I'm going to smother the back of this in snail. So I can get that stuck down. And what have I just done with the dimensionals? Okay, there. And then to anchor that in place, dimensionals over the, the twine itself. Lose your stray end. And pop it on there. Thank you, big time. Charming. Oh, look, my ribbon's a bit higher on that one. Ooh, I'm going to put that one up too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Just needed the ribbon lifting up a little bit. Super cute, super sweet. I love it. So cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I won't speak to you before Christmas. Well, you might. You're more than welcome to phone me. But I won't see you on video until Boxing Day. So have a wonderful Christmas wherever you are. Um, and I hope that you have the best and most blessed time. Bye.